What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl. I'm still Asia, baby. Cause every time I close my eyes, I see you. Welcome back to my channel, ladies and gentlemen. If you are new here, hello, hello, and welcome, okay? Be sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl, okay? As y'all can tell from the thumbnail today, y'all, I'm getting into something a little bit different. This video comes from, where do you come from? Facts Junkie, okay? This is this is video I found on Facts Junkie's channel. So, I'm gonna make sure I link all their information to their channel and to this video in the description box if you would like to go check it out, okay? Without any commentary for all of you that, you know, you pause too much. Well, get the hell on, okay? It's that simple. Leave me alone. Anyway, so yeah, <laughs> today y'all, this video is 12 times animals took revenge on humans. We all know how this is about to probably go, but you know, I don't know if I really want to see it in real life, but I'm finna see it in real life. <laughs> I'm finna see it in real life, y'all. I'm finna see the foolishness. I'm about to see the foolishness, okay? I don't even know why people be trying these little animals. I don't even know why y'all be trying these little animals, okay? You see the animal, you need to move. You need to respect the animal space. That includes dogs, cats, anything that makes any type of responding type of noise, okay? Growls, barks, meows, <laughs> purrs, okay? Whatever you want to call it, roars. You need to move. You don't even go there. Yeah, don't go there. <laughs> I just say it. Every time, y'all, they gonna show you who they really are. And, and you better believe them the first time. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> so, I ain't finna keep this video long, y'all. This video is long enough. So, go on and get your popcorn ready. And let's go on and get into this video, y'all. Yeah, okay? <laughs> is a dish best served oh. cold. Oh. But what if the animals are warm-blooded and hot-headed? Well then, you get instances where a llama-alpaca hybrid jumps on you Ooh. and chases you out of the pen. Ooh. And other times, Ooh. you get instances where man's best friends brings its pack and completely destroys your property. Sometimes, revenge is well-deserved. Oh. I'm talking about <laughs> that couldn't be my job that could not be my job that's one thing I'm not gonna do you couldn't pay me to go and pry at the lion a wild one at that completely destroys your property <laughs> sometimes revenge is well deserved Ooh. especially if it involves trophy hunters who kill lions and invade their space other times it's just a poor kid getting into a difficult situation Ooh. Here are 12 animals that took revenge on humans. Number 12. Leopard takes matters into her own paws. It's no surprise that big cats are ferocious predators. But when they attack out of pure anger, that's something that shocks everyone. This leopard has started to eat people's livestock, so the local park rangers capture her and relocated her to another place. However, the leopard refused to get out of her cage. One of the rangers, Alexander Rono, tried poking at her so she would leave, but he didn't know he had just stepped into his own defeat. Needless to say, the leopard did not like the gesture, and when she finally did get out, she wanted to attend to some unfinished business. She got out and ran to Alexander C and clawed his face off. The poor man couldn't close his windows fast enough and had to get 21 stitches to close up his wounds. Whoa. Alexander said that he learned a very painful lesson he will never forget. Neither will the internet, Alexander. Before we move on, we've got a speed challenge for you. If you subscribe to Facts Junkie and hit the bell icon in the next five seconds, you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Give it a shot. It actually works. <laughs> Number 11. Hangry sheep fights that. back. Huh. If you tease a hangry person, even they'll bite you. So a bighorn sheep is no different. 
The caretaker of this herd decided that he wanted to mess with one of the sheep by making it run for some extra food. But he chose the wrong day. Typically, bighorn sheep are wild animals. And though they're not usually aggressive to humans, they will attack if you tease them like this. <laughs> Thankfully, the man had a big plastic bag in his hands as a shield. Otherwise, he could have been ripped to shreds. Heck yeah! At first, it's just one angry sheep versus the man in the orange. Soon enough, his friends join in and back up their friend. After all, a friend's in need, a friend's indeed. Wait till the man scolds the sheep and all of them run away like scaredy cats. Man 1, angry sheep 0. Number 10, man's best friend turns into worst enemy. Dogs are a man's best friend, and that is until man betrays the dog and the pooch goes rogue. Sometimes, people forget how smart and menacing dogs are. In Chongqing, China, a man had to face the wrath of a single stray dog that took its sweet, sweet revenge. A man parked his car in the usual spot, except a dog was sitting there, and he kicked the dog aside to make room for the car. How rude. <laughs> Obviously, the... I say your damn car up, okay? I bet you won't park it no more, okay? I bet you won't kick me again. Shoot! Better move this little piece of... Okay, because that's what it's about to be, a piece of something. Pup didn't forget and absolutely thrashed his car for him to see the next morning. <laughs> this time, the dog brought friends who left deep dents, bite marks, and even completely tore out one of the wheels. Who knew dogs were that powerful? Folks, there's a lesson to be learned here. Karma always bites you back, and sometimes it bites your wheels. They told Number nine, up. Mama Cow to the rescue. Giving birth is an awfully difficult task, not just for humans, but for all animals too, especially mama cows. Usually, cows are sweet, gentle beings, but when it comes to their calves, they will do anything to protect them. It makes sense since cows are actually very emotional creatures, and when their calf is taken away from them, the mothers often cry and grieve over the loss of their children. But this lady didn't want to hurt the cow or the calf. She was just trying to clean up after the cow who had just given birth. All she did was move forward to clean her off, but the cow thought otherwise and greeted the woman with a big kick to the face. The kick is so powerful that the woman falls on the muddy ground. Number eight. Oh my gosh, y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh, I know. Oh, oh my face is stinging. <laughs> y'all, that looked like it hurt so bad. That looked like it hurt so bad. Hey, Detective Kangaroo tracks down opponents. If there is a match held between a human and a kangaroo, oh, no. oh. kangaroo would take home the winning trophy and leave- What are you doing? What are you doing? You got me messed. Look how long them damn legs are. Shh, I was gonna say, girl, you- <laughs> The hell? A kangaroo, y'all? <laughs> Where did they even do this at? Why is he even in the ring with a damn animal? Okay? If there is a match held between a human and a kangaroo, oh, no. kangaroo would take home the winning trophy and leave behind a kick worth 759 pounds of force. Oh. However, this particular story is based solely on luck. The man in this clip is out pig hunting with his dog, and somehow, his pet got into a headlock by a large kangaroo. When the man approached the kangaroo, it got startled and let go of the dog, but the man wasn't sure if his dog was safe, so he did what any local pet owner would do, Oh my god. Hell. <laughs> All I'm gonna do, y'all. I promise y'all. I know. I know you can't outrun the kangaroo, y'all. I know you can't. But I'm finna run the other way. You got me messed up. I ain't finna sit there trying. Look at this dang kangaroo. Like, come on. You want a piece of me? Okay. You want a piece of these muscles? You want to feel these legs? You want to go around with me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah. Nah, fool. I'm finna go. I'm finna go and get my little dog. We about to... <laughs> We about to go! We about to go! He punched the kangaroo right in the face. After such humiliation, the kangaroo left promptly. And that's what you would think. It retreated to the bushes for a while. But when the man came home, the kangaroo was waiting outside his doorstep, ready to continue the match. We knew that marsupials were smart, but we had no idea they were smart enough to track down their opponent. What? Number seven. Trophy hunters get a scare from- And then, and then he got the nerve to show up at your window? Like, shoot, you wanna go around number two? Shoot, you and this kangaroo can get it. I'm just saying. 
you can catch it. You can catch a little fag real quick, a little kangaroo, okay? Ruga coo, whatever you wanna whatever you wanna call yourself. Shoot, you better you better you better back off. Okay, you better leave this property. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Opponent. Number seven, Gangsta trophy Gangsta hunters Gangsta. get a scare for life. Trophy hunting is a very controversial activity, and for the most part, it's completely wrong too. It's actually a serious threat to the survival of many species. A couple of hunters killed a poor lion for no reason, and his friend wasn't going to tolerate this at all. They even tried to take a picture with their saddening trophy, which also served as the perfect opportunity for the lion's friend to get some revenge. He ran straight towards the hunters, chasing them out of the frame, oh and then came right back to the body of his lost friend. Aww. Now this was revenge served right. Number 6. Magpies swoop on cyclists. Magpies are simple birds. They see shiny things, and they take it. They're definitely not bloodthirsty monsters, at least for most of the year. If you live in a place with lots of magpies, then you surely know about the swooping season. This Australian cyclist was used to the swooping season. <laughs> but what he had no idea was one of them was out to get him. Sure. When it's time to make a nest in the springtime, they'll do anything to get little pieces of junk to make their nest a home. And this time, the poor cyclist was the unfortunate target. <laughs> Number five, octopus gone wild out of water. Octopi are bafflingly smart. They're not even remotely related to primates, but can do many tasks that primates can despite the fact that they're cephalopods. In recent years, mukbang, the trend of eating ridiculous foods in front of the camera has gained popularity. This streamer tried to eat a live octopus, probably for some views. However, she chose the wrong octopus to munch on, since this cephalopod refused to die today. In defense, it stuck to her face like it was super glued. The streamer kept screaming, it's stuck, it hurts, but it showed no mercy. Oh. Maybe next snap oh girl oh my gosh y'all what yo <laughs> you ain't gonna take no bite out of me today okay not this not here not now not like this not today so better eat something else girl you better find you something else go warm you some up in your kitchen <laughs> next time she'll cook the meat oh, number four snap. Misty doesn't want company. Is it a llama or an alpaca? What's <laughs> even the difference between them? This is Misty, and it's actually a hybrid between the two already similar animals. And Misty just wanted to be alone today. You can't even blame the worker since he was just trying to do a little cleaning. But that's when Misty decided to give him a beating he won't forget. <laughs> After literally jumping on him, the angry hybrid chased him out. Ouch. Number three, kangaroo shows off his boxing skills. You've already seen an aggressive showdown between a man and a kangaroo, but this one is very different. These marsupials might look like calm animals hopping around Australia. In reality, male kangaroos can get quite aggressive towards people. How aggressive, you might ask. Take a look for yourself. Shoot. You don't need to be teasing. Let one of them catch you at the wrong angle, y'all. That's a rib, okay? Cracked. Broke. Kapoof. Okay? <laughs> y'all, you get you get the wrong one of them little things. That's not what you want. That is not the fight you want to have. Teasing them or disturbing their peace to get them all riled up. Just being too near them will take them off. And the way they will stand up and box like they're Muhammad Ali, that's just impressively scary. This kangaroo was so angry that it refused to let go of the boy. Number two, Mama Cow protects and attacks. We've already told you how emotional cows can get when it comes to their calves. Even after a few hours of separation, these animals become visibly distressed and often cry. But this cow was not letting another human take its baby away from her. When the man picked up the baby calf, she attacked him right in the chest, oh, which is unusual for cows. She didn't even notice that he had dropped the calf after that big blow and still ran after him. 
this cow decided that revenge wasn't going to be served cold. Instead, it was going to be served right now. A mother's love is tough, much tougher than you thought. God, them things is so big, y'all. They are so big. Cows are huge. Why would you do that? Y'all, mm-mm. Number one, poor boy gets in mama's way. Mamas are cute. Children are cute too. They are so cute, y'all. What do you think would happen if you were to put the two of them together? Well, it's not as wholesome as you think. A little boy, a very cute one at that, just wanted to ask the llama what it was doing. The poor boy even tried to pet his neck, but was too nervous. So he just stood in front of him. But Mr. Llama here didn't like the boy invading his personal space. And instead of being nice, it did this. Spat right in his face. Well, now the boy has enough bad memories with llamas to develop a phobia out of. All right, let us know in the Ew. comments below which of these animals caught you off guard. Ew. Don't forget to like the video. Y'all, I wish one of these dang animals would spit in my dang old face, okay? That would be the day. That would be the day. I'm quitting the job. I'm leaving the farm, okay? Just go and get my little unemployment, and I'm out, okay? I ain't raising no animal that's finna disrespect me like that. You ain't disrespecting me like that on my property. Shoot. I, I'm just saying, I, I know I probably bought you, but I mean, you know, because I, I don't really know what I would do with it after that. Because <laughs> you'd be lucky if you eat again if you did some crap like that to me. I'm just... <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just playing, y'all. <laughs> I really am. I'm just playing, y'all. No. Who is that? Is that Brian? Didn't you tell me you had an alpaca farm like you raised alpaca, al alpacas? I think that was Brian that told me that. If you watch this video, Brian, tell me if that was you or not. I'm almost certain it was him that told me he had an alpaca. He raises alpacas. I, I don't know. But let one of them little jokers come after me and, and, and spit in my little face. Okay? That's the end of the little alpaca. And, and the whole crew that goes with the alpaca. Your kids and everything. <laughs> yeah, I ain't having it. I ain't having it. I'm just saying. Y'all, that was good, okay? You need to respect the little animal's faces, okay? Don't don't be trying to invade, especially especially you out here trying to be all big and bad and show off and, and be funny and stuff. Y'all, animals, animals know, y'all. They don't like to be disrespected, and they sure don't like to be threatened. And if they feel like you in their space, even if you're not close to them and, and you within diameter, okay, you can get it. <laughs> and they're going to let you know you can get it, okay? Don't think for a second you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna walk over here and you ain't going to limp back, <laughs> Just saying, animals be gangster, y'all. Especially, man, them kangaroos, y'all. You got me messed up. <laughs> I don't even want to get close. I ain't even finna get out the, the little van, the little truck, the little, the little, the little visitor wagon. I'm not finna do that. I'm not finna, <laughs> I'm not finna do that, okay? It need to have all windows up, rolled up, okay? Because I don't need no leopards to come after me neither. I'm just saying. No. <laughs> so... If y'all enjoyed this video, be sure you give me a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos from your girl. And if ain't nobody told you, I love you. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video, y'all. <laughs> Bye, y'all.